Hello and welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining us on our travels. In this series we're in Scotland so please come with us and enjoy the views. Hello and welcome back to the channel and episode 4 of our Scottish adventure. Today we're taking a drive around the beautiful Loch Tay. So as we say, come with us and enjoy the views. We're taking the drive anti-clockwise around the lock, which takes us down some very narrow roads. It's a good job there are plenty of passing places along today's route. Loch Tay is the sixth largest lock in Scotland. It's around 14 and a half miles long and between one and one and a half miles wide. And at its deepest point, it's 490 feet deep. That's about 150 meters. If you've watched our channel before, you know we like cake. Oh, I found an honesty box and I'm going to go and see what's in it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, give me the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, get your purse out. We have got mallow slices, we have got millionaire shortbread, we have got, we haven't got any mint fudge, we've got snowball caramel brownies, ginger fudge slice, oh my gosh. And there is, that's amazing. Well done, we tie bake. And that's the lady that makes them. Right, after making our choice of cake from We Tay Bakes, it's back on the road around Lock Tay. The one thing we weren't expecting on this road trip were roadworks. The road was temporarily closed. We had to wait for them to lay some fibre broadband cables. After about a 20 minute wait, we were back on the road. At the head of the lock is the small village of Kenmore. Okay, let's have a look around. That was a pleasant stroll around. Right, back on the road now, back down towards Killin. This beautifully conserved crook feigned briar or longhouse is nestled in Glen Loch Hay. 
you get a unique opportunity to visit a traditional rural home which is virtually unchanged since the last inhabitants left in 1968. As we entered, we found layers and layers of early 20th century wallpaper. The best room was only open to special visitors. You can see two bed boxes at the far end of the room and a baby's crib. We enter the kitchen or the main room of the longhouse. Over the fire is a hinging lum made of paper mache built onto a wooden frame. The lum helps guide smoke from the open peat fire. The scotch dresser is filled with the family's plates and dishes. The kitchen also houses another bed box. The entire longhouse is practically unchanged since it was last lived in by the Robinson family. Records show that the Robinson family lived there from at least 1809 to 1968. We both got the feeling that Mrs Robinson could still be sitting in the chair by the peat fire. Next to the kitchen was the dairy where they would make butter from the cow's milk that they kept. The animals were kept in the end part of the longhouse, once home to three dairy cows and a pig. The longhouse is now owned by the National Trust for Scotland and if you're in the area it is well worth a visit. Prices are £3.50 per adult. If you enjoyed our video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell for our next Benny Van Adventure. If you'd like to keep up to date with our travels, don't forget we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram and you can read about our adventures on Blogger. Please join us next time when we drive through the beautiful Glencoe.